Well, you guys got another fake antivirus removal video here for you. As you can see, we've got MS removal tool here. It's another fake antivirus that's doing the rounds on the internet. There's a few of them about, and they're pretty easy to kill if you know what you're doing. And I'm going to show you how to do that with a couple of tools. And we're going to be using iExplore for this one and uh, Hitman Pro 3.5 just for a change. Uh, you can use malware bytes or super anti spyware or something like that, but um, I'm going to be using Hitman Pro just for a change just to show you that you can use different tools okay but what I would do is I would advise you to run malware bytes after this as well just to make sure that you give it a good old clean okay and make sure the system's all uh, nicely cleaned so let's have a little look at where these sort of applications reside so we're going to go into my computer first and uh, I want to go up to organize I want to show hidden files it's always a good idea and I'm going to show uh, hidden operating system files as well and also extensions I'm going to apply an OK that OK now I've seen a few different ones uh, in the past where it doesn't allow you to see your files and stuff like that um, there's all different types and you've seen me make a video on that how to unhide these and show them you can actually do that in the registry as well but uh, let's have a little look here at some of the places these uh, nasties uh, actually hide so what we're going to do is have a look in program data this is a, a, a grayed out area but it becomes visible once you show hidden files and it, you'll have a little uh, a folder here with numbers and letters on it if you come in here you can see a nasty there and I know it's a, a really recent one because you've only got to look at the date which is today's date when I infected it and it's uh, showing there okay it's always a good sign again um, going to come back to my username and uh, we're going to go into test now this test yours will be whatever your name is of your folder I'm going to come into here and go to application date and as again you can see it's grayed out and that's because it's a hidden area but if we look inside roaming you may find them in, in here and also local you can find this one here you can see uh, on the 16th of the 6th that's been created uh, temporary files you always find them in there as well now you can just delete these files I would advise you to do that if you know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing leave them well alone and let the program decide what's bad and what's not bad um, but what we're going to do is reboot uh, into safe mode and run Hitman Pro from there it's always best to run from safe mode so let's get started by rebooting now you need to restart here F8 on the keyboard now this is a virtual box but yours will be exactly the same so we're just going to actually restart keep tapping F8 on the keyboard once you restart and this will give us, gives us the uh, safe mode option now it's always best to go into safe mode with networking because you can update the actual program okay it's always best to update the program before you start running scans so it's got the latest definitions especially if it's an on-demand scanner where you do actually do it yourself and then you could actually have all the latest definitions to remove these nasty uh, programs or fake antiviruses okay we'll just let that load into safe mode we need to put our password in for our log on screen there once we get to the desktop we can then run some scans okay so we're inside safe mode now uh, we'll run uh, iExplore.exe now you can get its rkill you can use rkill or these types of uh, programs to kill things I do like to use these first just to make sure there's nothing running we'll just let that do its thing as you can see preparing rkill and I will put the links for these in the description um, as before okay so just let that do its thing there it's terminating processes okay okay so terminated those processes that it thinks that needs to be terminated and what we're going to do here is run hitman pro now this is a, a 20 uh, 29 day or 30 day trial and uh, we need to do really is just uh, get your free trial version download it and run it we'll just let this run 
as I said before and I'll say it again you need to make sure that you run more than one uh, app application to, to remove stuff so I would say remove these types of infections with Hitman Pro, then Malwarebytes, maybe Super Anti Spyware, and then do an online scan with uh, Nod32, Bitdefender, or something like that, just to make sure. And then you can scan for rootkits as well with Gmail or something like that. Make sure you're fully cleaned. Okay. So we'll let this do its thing. It's found a suspicious file here called iExplore.exe. Now, don't worry about that. That's not. That's just because we've used that file. It's the type of file it is. Now you can see here calc.1.exe it's a rootkit and also we can see that file that I pointed out to you in the local directory there and also the other file that we pointed out best AV and we've got another one which was this one now this number might be different on your one because they're different all the time so we're going to delete these quarantine that but we don't want to do that I want to delete it because I know it's infection and that is as well and I'm going to ignore I explore. Okay, so we'll go next. And they're deleted. Go next again. Okay, so that's the infections over with. They should be removed from the system. I'm going to close that now. And I could really go back into here now and put this back, but I just want to have a quick look here. You know, it's a uh, remove these files you can see the folder here it's left this file here but we can clean this up afterwards okay so we'll just get rid of that anyway and let's have a little look at um, the last bit here users and uh, test application data local again you can see you, I would always run cleaners and empty all this area out as well just to make sure it's completely clean of any infection so let's restart the system and uh, see how she fares okay you can see uh, Hitman now removing the last few bits and pieces when it boots up just going to put a part, uh, my password in log in fingers crossed we should be all clean and nothing's popping up on the screen so far which is good news and again also a place you want to start checking for these sort of infections are uh, proxies as well they come into in, uh, internet options there connections uh, LAN settings and sometimes they put a proxy in here just make sure that's all cleaned up but as you can see it's pretty much uh, clean now I would do another scan with uh, malware bytes and also an online scan um, but pretty much the infection has gone and uh, the system is now back up and running so I hope you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys remember hit the subscribe button show your support and also if you enjoy my videos favorite all my videos and give them the thumbs up and and uh, and I shall see you over on the forum if you've got any problems with your computers okay so thanks again guys bye for now